just kind of wanted to touch bases with you and update my video thread about nested Hyper-V within VMware Workstation 9. It would seem that my cluster servers get virtual processor errors whenever they try to nest a bunch of VMs um, with the latest build or a newer build of Windows Server. When I stick with one DC running in Hyper-V, I don't seem to have any problems with this server here. It's also my storage server uh, serving my iSCSI. When it comes to the cluster servers, I am using an older version of Windows Server 2012 and it seems very stable. Win 8 RC 120518-1423. So I did stumble upon one interesting thing though. I had to basically convert my clusters from a newer version of Windows uh, because they were crashing and since the uh, VMs were on a, clear, a shared cluster volume you know they stayed intact so the funny thing is I'm running newer versions of the VMs here than the actual cluster server so it's running you know higher build basically so I thought that was kind of interesting Uh, this is unsupported by VMware, of course, but I intend to play around with replication a little more. I've done some scale-out file servers and live migration and things like that. And it uh, seems like a very valuable tool just to play around in. And just to recap, you want to choose Hyper-V unsupported as your OS, and you want to set up your processors to enable VT and then you can enable your nested hypervisor. There's no longer a need to hack the uh, VMX file or whatever it was called. So anyways, um, hopefully you found this demonstration to be entertaining.